guys welcome back to my channel I'm Michelle with prettiestproblems.com and today I am here to show you how to apply falsies false lashes I love false lashes I cannot get enough of them I wear them anytime I wear makeup because to me it really steps up the look a few notches so I think falsies just adds a real bit of glamour to your look if you are able to apply them then I think that you should but if not, then I'm here to show you how to apply them. It's really not that hard, but it does take some practice. When I first started wearing lashes, I just could never get them right. So I understand your frustration, and that is what brought you here. So I hope I can help you. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe. Follow me on Snapchat, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is find a good pair of lashes. These are 117s, which I tried originally to apply. But I really tend to gravitate towards Demi Wispies, which look very natural. They're flirty. They're flary. They're, they're not just a straight line of hair. Okay, so you find your pair of lashes. When you go to take off your lashes, you're going to start from the outside corner and just gently pull the lash away from the packaging. Once you have your lash out, you are going to want to measure your lash to your eyes. A lot of times your eyes may be a little bit smaller than the lash band. So you want to go ahead and place them on your eyelid and see if you have any excess on the outer corner. If you do, you will just snip off a little bit of the outside corner with some scissors. Now after you have your, your lashes measured to your eyes, the next thing we're going to do is get some glue. Now the glue I choose to use is hair glue, which, you know, it's like for your hair, but it's really good because what it does is sticks quickly, like it gets tacky really quickly. And if you're not using hair glue and you are using something like Duo Lash Glue, and I cannot stress this enough, this is probably the most important thing about putting on lashes. So what you're going to do is take your Duo Glue or your Lash Glue, and this is before I'm ready to apply my lashes. I take some, maybe about that big of a drop. I hope you can see that. So take about that much of a drop and just set it aside because what this is going to do is it allows this lash glue to get sticky. Because I used to struggle so much with my lashes and I think that was why I struggled so much is because I used to just put the lash glue straight from the package onto the eyelash and try to stick it on my eyes that will not work let me repeat that will not work you have to let the lash glue get sticky first so either you can put it on your lashes and set them aside and let the glue kind of dry a little bit on the lashes or you can sit it here and until you're ready to apply your lashes um let it kind of air dry a little bit so i would say maybe a minute to two minutes on this just letting it sit here but if you want to use hair glue then you can go ahead and apply it as you're placing the glue on the lash so now after your lash glue gets sticky I will take my lash and just run the lash band through the glue like this okay that will coat the entire lash with glue Another tip is to bend your lash and kind of get it a little bit round some lashes are the bands are a little bit stiff so it's just good to kind of bend it to make them rounder so that they kind of stick to your eye a little bit easier. So now that you have your glue on, I'm going to hold the outside corner of the lash and place that on the outer part of my eye. And you can tell if the lash glue is ready at that moment because it will stick. If it does not stick, that means the lash glue is still not tacky enough. So you're going to go ahead and place it on the outer corner of your eyelid. And then I take a tweezers and I tweeze the inner corner of the lash and place that band down on the inner corner of my eye. And the key here is trying to get it as close to your natural lashes as possible on your lid. Now you have to be careful here because you don't want the lash to irritate the inner part of your eye as you blink. So if you feel it irritating, you may want to take off the lash and reapply and kind of pull it a little bit further out. So now after you apply the lash, what you want to do is let it dry for a second and then take your two fingers and squeeze your lash together with the false lash. And that's just going to help conceal them a little bit more so that they're not separated. I suggest wearing eyeliner. Eyeliner always helps to disguise the lash band. So um, after that, you may have to just touch up your eyeliner a little bit. And, it, and it's really good to use some type of liquid liner on top of the band, the lash band, because that will disguise that lash band 
onto your eyelid. Now, if you're not wearing any eyeliner, it's going to be very important for you to get that lash band as close to the bottom of your own lashes as possible. If you're not wearing any eyeliner, I would suggest using white glue because white glue is going to dry clear and then you won't be able to see that black glue. So that is it. That concludes my eyelash tutorial. I really hope this helped because I know how frustrating eyelashes can be to apply. But once you get it down, you kind of get the hang of it. You, it's just practice at, like anything else. Everything with makeup is practice until you kind of get it. So don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you want to see how I got this makeup look, then please click, click the link in the description below. That will take you to this tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay, I had to reapply my own lash because it was just acting crazy. I'm going to tell you about lashes and mine is acting up. Okay, so. Okay, lashes together.